Hi, I'm Tom Biller. Welcome to my little home studio here in Pasadena, California. And uh, this is where I spend too much time. <laughs> For the past at least, you know, eight or 10 years, I dove into in the box mixing like a lot of people and went back and forth with the different types of summing plugins and, and combinations of certain plugins on the stereo bus to try to get me this width of the mix that a console had. And then when I was mixing on Neves or APIs or anything like that, tended to always judge things by how wide a mix can get. It didn't matter which summing plugin I've used, and there's some great ones out there. I, I can never get it to sound wide. I plugged these things in, and about three minutes later, I was like, there it is. It's now doing exactly what I hear. And the same goes for tracking. Since I got this, every single instrument gets tracked through this. If I'm doing vocals, it's going through here. If I'm doing guitars, it'll go through two channels maybe. So I'm gonna show you how I have my Pro Tools session interfacing with the Orbit and the MBC. I make aux tracks in my Pro Tools sessions, vocal of course out of seven and eight, my bass instruments are going out of five and six, drums three and four, and one and two I have set up with the mono switch and I'm sending a little kick and snare out of there just to, for some extra punch. Simple, eight channels out of the Apollo 8 into the orbit, kick and snare, drums, instruments, and vocals. It's as simple as I can make it. One click, two clicks, that changes so much about the sound of your mix. And you can really fine tune just by doing that. Right now I have it set on the minus six output, so I'm, I'm able to drive the input to the thing a little bit harder and get a little more signal going through. So it, it makes the transformers inside of it zing a little bit more. And along with that, it certainly allowed me to get the width of stereo mix that I've been searching for since I started to go mix in the box completely. And that's the thing with this is, is it really does give everybody the chance to have a console, at least what's important about a console, which I, I think people think it's about the faders, they think it's about the EQs, all of that stuff is great and it matters, but especially on all the old vintage consoles that I've, I've gotten to work on, it's really all about the stereo bus and how all of those channels interact with it. It allows me the advantages of having a zillion plugins, and uh, which are great, and I can use them efficiently and quickly, recall and all of that stuff. But coming down and bringing into the final picture of the mix, I haven't found anything that does it quite like these two things. And if I only had these three things without any outboard gear or anything, I could mix a record easily and, and happily. 